and one and loses a yard. Third and two now for Jay Wall. Great inside zone defense right there. You see uh, Rival in that 3-3-5 wide formation, it looks like. See what Jay Wall can cook up. Let's go! Come on! Oh, wide open Tyree Kill! Oh, that's why you play the Nothing lead. Nothing but great grants in lead. front of him. Hail to the house. One stop and it's glitchy, over. Glitchy, 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 boy. Oh, man, that looked like he completely turned the defensive back to go to the opposite side of the field. <laughs> Jay Wall cooking it up. One of the easiest oh, touchdowns loud, you'll ever see. Loud. I can't wait to get into the replay of that. Wow. One stop, baby. One stop, baby. Seven, nothing. Look at this one more time. How did Tyree get so open? Yeah, he had him on a streak and he got the defender to completely come off him and go to the other side of the field. And, and that's a free touchdown for Jay Wall and he's fired up about it. That is the question. How did Tyree Kill get so wide open? I haven't asked that. I can't tell you how many times because a lot of people know that I run the New England Patriots ebook with the trips tied in as well. I want to talk about J Wall's um, man glitch. It's the best way to beat man coverage so far uh, in the game. J Wall is one of my favorite people to study in this game. Uh, I absolutely love the way that he plays the game. I love the way that he um, just truly captures the um, the, the word phrase lab rat. So we're going to jump into the glitch here. I'm going to jump over into gameplay. Now you have to be in an actual game for this to work. You can't do this in just a uh, practice mode setting. It won't work right. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this. So this is trips tight in. That's what I'm running. And, um, and, and, uh, rival was running nickel three, three, five wide. Okay. So I'm going to basically break down how you do this. Now you don't have to be a nickel three, three, five wide. It, it's any man coverage. If you face man coverage, you will torch it for a one play touchdown. If you, if they run man coverage, the way that J wall, uh, or the way that rival was running it. And what I mean by if they run it like that, all I'm saying is if their auto alignment is default or man align, it's going to work. If it's base aligned, it's not going to work. Okay, so that's the solution to the problem. But we're going to jump in here and break this down. So uh, real quick, for those of you that don't know, my name's Cody. I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day. Um, I post videos on YouTube at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time every day. Now, I actually broke this tip down last night from my people on my live stream, so they already kind of know what's coming. So if you haven't come to one of my live streams, I live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And I'm gonna be doing a special Christmas live stream where we're actually gonna be going live throughout Christmas morning and day um, with some of the new muck cars that are gonna be coming out and playing some weekend league with that. So uh, let's jump right in. So again, I got trips tied in, booted up here. Um, that's all you need. You just need trips tied in. And we're just gonna come out in any play. My favorite play to do this from is drive post. Um, that's just because I really like the routes on the left side of the field. But I'm just gonna come out, cover one robber, and I'm gonna come out and drive post. Now all you're gonna do, this is all, literally all you have to do. You're going to take this slot receiver and motion him to the right side of the field. Now you can have him on any route you want. The trick of this is once he gets to this side, and oftentimes they'll be press coveraging. Um, once he gets to this side, you're going to not click off of him. So you need to have him clicked on. You're going to put him on a streak. And as soon as you put him on a streak, you're going to motion him to the left and then spam snapping of the ball. And you see there, it's going to be a one play touchdown every single time. Okay, now I'm going to show you this. What I'm going to show you what I'm talking about one more time and kind of talk you through this um, as we're taking. So, again, a lot of people are going to man align. They're going to shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top. That's kind of what they're going to do out of a cover one setting. So, what you're going to do, it could be any of these players. That's the cool part, but I think it works best if it's Godwin. So, um, you're going to motion him over. And again, as soon as he gets to the side, you need to give yourself enough time that when he sets, right, you're going to put him on a streak and then just spam the motioning of him to the left. Just spam it, and um, and what I mean by that is once you once you motion him back to the left side of the field, you're simply going to um, you're simply going to spam hike, and what's going to happen is you're just watching that corner. If that corner moves to the inside, the the glitch has worked successfully, and you're going to be able to hit this. So again, let me show you. So I'm just going to motion him over, maybe once we get set up here. So I'm going to motion him over. And you see they follow. You see this right here? They're following me. 
And now once I get to this side of the field, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on a streak. And as soon as that corner moves, uh, or as soon as I put him on a streak, I have to motion him to the left side. While the quarterback is still doing his little hot route animation, that's why you're going to click, you're going to uh, spam uh, X to hike the ball. So he's doing his hot route, I'm spamming X, you see the corner moves, that's how you know you've got it, and it, see it does beat the over top as well. Even if they're backed off, it's going to work. It's going to bet, because what's happening is the corner on the right side is 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 um the ai of the game is telling him that the corner or that the wide receiver is going back to the left so the corner is doing the motion the corner is is basically going in motion with him and that's that's the gist of what's what's occurring in this in this setting now the cool part is you can do it from other things other than just trips i did you could do it from gun bunch which i think is really really cool so i'll show you one of the things i'm talking about so um from gun bunch and let's say you run this play right here, verts, right? If you motion Miller out, same kind of thing. You want to be clicked onto him. You have to be clicked onto him. So you see here, I'm hitting circle to click onto him, right? And I'm just kind of moving the cursor. Now I'm going to do a hot route. Um, and then you see the corner, see how he comes back inside? And now he goes on that wheel route and he gets, um, he gets over, over, um, he gets over the top of that. Um, real quick, I'm just going to punt the ball to the other team so I can show you. And you can, the cool part is you can do this out of anything. Um, it also works for multiple different hot routes as well. So let's say, um, you know, let's say you're doing, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you on this next play. Um, now real quick, for those of you guys that don't have, um, my ebook, I actually wrote a full ebook on the New England Patriots ebook, New England Patriots guide. Um, that guide can be picked up in the description of this video. It's over 300 pages long. Okay. It shows you literally how to do every single thing that you can possibly do from the trips tied in. We're going to update it with this, with this street glitch as well this week for everybody. Um, but we're going to talk through that stuff as well. Um, the cool part about that ebook is I actually have some sample formations that I would like to give you for free. And so if you want to pick up a sample formation, literally all you have to do is shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216 three, six, four, four. Okay. You can also uh, shoot me a text. My number's in the description as well. It's my personal cell phone number. So if you have Madden questions, feel free to ask me those questions. Um, but basically if you want to pick up the ebook, um, that gives you the full scheme, it, it, it's all through the Patriots book. It's got everything that you could possibly learn about the Patriots book inside of it. So really, really good material in my opinion. And uh, we've had some really, really good reviews. People have been just winning money games like crazy, winning a lot of money with this guide. Um, so I think you guys can certainly do that as well. But I want to show you how to do this um, do this from another formation. So you can do it from trips, right? And I think it honestly probably works best from a trips tight end style of formation. But you can also do it from like a, like a gun bunch and um, specifically like a gun bunch tight end. Okay. So, you know, maybe you want to do it out of PA boot over. So same kind of thing. And what you'll notice here. I'll put the tight end on a delay fade and I'm going to motion Mike Evans to the left and you'll see that they're going to flip. See this? And now at this point, what I'm going to do, same kind of thing. I got to be clicked onto him. He moves. Nobody guards him. It's a one play touchdown out of bunch tight end. So a lot of you guys run bunch tight end. Um, it really works in my opinion best with the tight end, like trips tight end, bunch tight end, pistol bunch tight end, single back, um, uh, wing flex close. Um, it, it works like a charm under center formations. I mean, it really does. So you could do that from gun bunch. The cool part is you can also do it from the regular gun bunch. Let's say you're running like, um, let's say you're running verticals. Okay. Same kind of thing. They press up, they, they've got their man coverage. And now what you're going to do is you're going to motion Miller out. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel it. And you see, if I cancel, I can't do anything. But if I bring him out and put him on a streak, same theory, corner comes inside. Now I have a clear outside release, and it's just a lob bomb over the top. And that's against cover two man. So this thing can work from multiple angles, multiple things that you can do with this. Um, it works, you know, I don't think it works best from bunch. I would, I would definitely want to tell you that. Um, just because, and the reason why is because the cornerback can recover. Um, it's hard for him to recover though. I mean, especially if you're running your bunch to the wide side of the field. So again, I'm motioning Mike Evans out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on a streak or a fade and then I'm going to immediately motion him to the left. You see the cornerback's going to move and I'm going to have a free release. 
Um, now, if I have a fast receiver, he'll he'll beat the defense because I don't have a fast receiver. They're not going to win. But if that's Mutt, if that's Mutt and that's Deion Sanders, that's a touchdown every single time. So, um, just some things for you to to consider. Um, now, really quickly here, let me just show you one last thing with this. Um, and I let me grab like a cover one robber type of deal. And let me just show you a little concept here out of like. Uh, split close, right? You could do stuff. These little close formations is where I think it works best. Trips tight end close, where you can motion a receiver all the way across the field, and then you can bring him back. So, uh, like Godwin here, you'll see. I'm going to motion him to the left side, okay? And what's going to happen is these assignments are going to flip once I put him on this hot route. See right there. Wait for it. And that time he actually stayed on him, okay? But you're still able, like if there's no safety over the top, you can potentially get that over the top. But that's how you do it. And you can do it out of multiple formations. Now, some formations work better than other formations. Um, a slot offset's another good example. Like, let's say you, you know, you're running this, and, and one of the ways that people are going to try to stop you is by uh, running man coverage, right? Well, you can motion uh, Goblin across. And then take, I would just take Gronk, and honestly, I just put him on a street. But you see the motion across here, right? And they're, they're man aligning. Um... And then you're just going to put them on a streak motion to the left. You see they flip. And it doesn't work as good from a slot because of the tight end there, that tight end position, and what that does with the slot. Okay? So you might want to motion over, um, you might want to motion over, like, the left side guy. Maybe maybe, mo maybe motion Evans. The other thing you can do is you can actually use it from the running back perspective too, which I'll show you that in just a minute. But there's so many different ways that you can do this. Um, and there's so many, like, just little variables that you can do this from, which is really, really cool. Um, it's not going to work as good from this because you see here, there they switch and you get your one play uh, touchdown. So that's that's kind of the that's kind of the secret sauce, right? Uh, but what I want to do is I want to show you um, two more things. I want to show you how the running back version works, and I also want to show you because you can do the running. The cool part is you can use the running back. Um, from different things like, and, and it, it also works out of U trips, right? Wild trips pass, which is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite formation in the game. But you'll notice that the running back, um, oftentimes people will use the middle linebacker, right? And so if somebody, if the line, if the linebackers man up on the running back, see, I can, I can flex him out here just like this. All right. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same basic tip. You see the linebackers going. And I think it actually works a little bit better for the running back. The only issue is sometimes the running back, you don't get the hike. Um, that's the one issue that you have with it. Um, and you do need play clock to do this. You know, like if you're, you, you need time at the, at the, at the uh, line of scrimmage to be able to, to do these adjustments, uh, in my opinion. But anyway, I'm just going to motion this guy out here. We'll try it one more time. Let's see if I can get the running back. But you see if they, if they, even if they man line, everything jacks up for the defense, honestly. Um, See here, see he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. And unfortunately, we couldn't snap it. So maybe you're not able to do that. But if you were able to do the running back, it would be like, I think it would be crazy powerful. Anyway, I just want to show you how to stop it. Uh, so let's say that you're you're facing trip side in and somebody's doing this to you. What do you do? How do you stop it? If you want to play man coverage, how do you stop it, right? Um, well, it's pretty easy. It's actually very easy. Um, when, when I motion over Godwin, right? If I motion him over... I'll leave this as is, and then once they set, all you do, literally all you do, is base align and press. That's it. Um, and what you'll see here is you get proper alignment. Now, if I try to do this streak glitch, you see the corner stays out on him. He does not go to the left. That's all you got to do. Um, now, does that leave other things open for the offense? Sure, it does. Does that give you another thing? Uh, another, uh, and that's really what J Wall is trying to do, and that's what makes J Wall so good is. You know, it's not just the streak. It's the streak plus the slant, plus the drag, plus the crossing route, plus all of these things. Um, so don't just do this every time because it's not going to work every play for you. If you do this every play in a game, people will eventually stop you. But it's a nice play if they're giving you a look for it and if they're playing a specific coverage and you want to catch them off guard and get a one-play touchdown. So that's the deep glitch uh, that J Wall had in Madden 21. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me questions about it. If you want to get the full scheme that I've developed out of trips tied in, um, that all, that does, uh, I do show some concepts from other players as well. Uh, we tried to just do basically a complete guide on it. So uh, using all the film, doing all the research, 
and obviously putting my own spin on it, um, I believe we built the best offense in Madden 21. Most balanced offense, the deepest offense, the offense that has answers for everything, and honestly the most pro-style offense. I mean, it actually does resemble a lot of not only what pro players are doing in Madden, but what pro NFL teams are doing in the game as well. So I'm really, really pumped about the, this, this offense. A lot of people that have got the guide have told me, that they're a little bit overwhelmed with how big it is. And what I've said is you don't have to use it all, right? You can only, you, you could, if you just learned the U trips, the trips tied in in the bunch, you'd be good to go. So um, that's pretty much it for the video though. We're going to be streaming tonight at 10. So if you want to see us using the playbook, come by the stream. Um, if you have any questions, you can always text me. If you want to get the sample formations, um, I have three different samples. I have the split close, the ace slot, and the U trips. So shoot me a text. Let me know if you want to receive those videos uh, and I can shoot you a link to those as well. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, just shoot me a text. Let me know what's up and we'll see you guys tonight. Reminder, my number is 812-216-3644. Thanks, guys.